How can this argument be explained, considering that some individuals have a negative view towards the usage of the English term God, due to its resemblance to the name of the pagan deity, Gad, referenced in Isaiah 65 verse 11? The argument you're referring to seems to stem from a concern over the use of the term God in English, due to its perceived phonetic similarity to Gad, which is mentioned in Isaiah 65 verse 11, as a deity of fortune worshipped by some ancient peoples. Here's how this argument might be explained and addressed. 1. Etymological Perspective The English word God is derived from Old English God, which itself comes from Proto-Germanic Gudan. The etymology of the English word God is different from that of the name Gad mentioned in the Bible. Gad is a transliteration of the Hebrew word Gad, which is thought to refer to a deity of fortune. The similarity in sound between the two words in modern English is coincidental and does not reflect a direct linguistic or historical connection. 2. Linguistic Diversity The word used to refer to the monotheistic concept of the supreme being varies in different languages and cultures. For example, in Arabic it is Allah, in Hebrew it is Elohim or Yahweh, in Greek it is Theos, and in Latin it is Deus. The choice of which term to use has more to do with the linguistic and cultural background than with the historical origins of the term itself. 3. Historical Context Isaiah 65 verse 11 refers to the Israelites turning away from God to worship other deities, including Gad. The context of this verse is a rebuke of idolatry and faithlessness. The similarity in English pronunciation between God and Gad is irrelevant to the original context of the scripture, as the audiences of Isaiah's time would not have been speaking English or using the English term God. 4. Intended Meaning When most English speakers say God, they are referring to the monotheistic concept of the ultimate divine being, not a specific historical deity named Gad. The meaning of words is defined by their use and the intentions of the speaker, not merely by phonetic resemblance. 5. Theological Perspective Many theologians and scholars would argue that what is important is the concept and attributes of the deity being referred to, not the specific name or term used. The monotheistic god of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam is characterized by attributes such as omnipotence, omniscience, benevolence, and transcendence, which are distinct from the characteristics of any pagan deity. For individuals who have a negative view of the use of the term God based on this resemblance, it may be helpful to consider the above points. Additionally, it's worth noting that religious traditions often adapt and incorporate terms from the prevailing language and culture, giving them new meaning within their religious context. If the concern remains, individuals might choose to use alternative terms or names that are more comfortable for them and that better represent their understanding of the divine.